So section 2.3 homogeneous equations. I'll abbreviate that with homo means homogeneous. So to start with this, what is homogeneous equations? First, let's introduce, start with the definition. We say a function is said to be a homogeneous equation, a homo. homogeneous function, there's an E there, function of degree n if it satisfies the property f of tx comma ty is t to the n f of x comma y so do you see n is the degree n is the degree if we look at an example f of x y x square plus 5 x y plus 2 y square let's check or test if this is a homo function or not to do so, we always start with f of tx comma ty. So that means you need to replace every x with tx and every y with ty. So 5tx times ty plus 2 times ty square. That gives us t square x square, 5t square xy, 2t square y square. You may take a t square out that gives us x square plus 5xy plus 2y square notice this is the function itself so that's t square f of xy so that tells us it's a the given function is it's a homo function with degree 2 If you look at another example, f of x, y is the cubic root of x square, y square, and try to find, try to find f of t, x comma t, y. You will get t to the two thirds f of x, y. So it's a homo with degree two thirds. So the degree two thirds is fine. It doesn't have to be an integer. Now the homo condition works all the time. If we can look at the degree right away without even computation stuff or working. So if we have, if we look at f of x, y, 2x squared, y squared, minus x cubed, y, let's say. How do you find the degree here? Well, you look at each term. At each term. So what's the degree of this? Well, the, the way we calculate degrees here, as we learn in algebra, we add them. 2 plus 2, 4. So the degree here is 2 plus 2, which is 4. What's the degree here? Well, 3 plus 1 is also 4. Since the degrees for the terms match, then we say f is homo of degree 4. As another example,
So is this homo or not? Well, the degree here is three, but the degree of this one is two. They don't match. So it is not a homo. So as a note, if f is homo, a homo function with degree n, then we can write f as f of x, y equals x to the n f of 1 comma y over x in this case this function here is a homo with degree 0 similarly we can write f of x y y to the n f of x over y comma 1 if we look at an example x square minus 5 x y plus y square See, degree of this is 2, degree of this is 2, degree of this is 2. This is a homo with degree 2. And to apply what you just, what I said in the note, if you factor x squared out among all the terms, that will make it 1 minus 5 over 5y over x plus y square over x square. This is keep x square the same 1 minus 5. You can write this as y over x and y over x square. So that's simple, simply equal x square f of 1 comma y over x. It's kind of like you took the function, replace x with 1, and y with y over x. Try now on your own to factor y square out. So if we factor y squared instead of x squared, that will give us x squared over y squared, 5x over y, plus 1. That's the same as y squared f of x, y, comma, 1. Now, we are going to look at homogeneous equations in the form mxy dx plus nxy dy equals zero. 
we say this equation in this form is homo if both m and n are homo with the same degree and the big question is how to solve such equations To do so, the trick here is either to let y equals ux or x equals vy. What are u and v? u and v are new independent variables. Uh, sorry, dependent variables. And by doing so, by substituting, when you're substituting, that will transform the given equation into separable. Separable first order differential equation. For example, Uh, or before the example, from y equals ux, it's important to see what happens. All the time we're going to differentiate this dy dx, and since that's dependent variable, we're going to use the product rule for this. So the derivative of u is u prime or du dx times x by the product rule, u times the derivative of x, is, which is 1, or dx dx. And this can always be rewritten as dy equals x du plus u dx. So keep that in mind. You don't have to derive it every time if you know it. Let's try to solve y dx So what do we do for this one? Uh, let me rewrite it first. Uh, put the dy on the left side and the other one on the other side. Remember, y is ux. du, it's there, that's du. So no more y. Again, the y is ux. So now we have a differential equation that has only u's and x, no y's. So how are we going to solve this? We can multiply them out. 2x squared du, 2xu dx, 2ux squared du, 2u squared x dx, ux dx. Any questions so far?
we can keep the DUs on one side. And the DXs to the other side. We can factor a 2 here and x square, and I'll leave a 1 plus u du. These two becomes negative x u dx. We can factor x out, du out, and a dx. That would leave a negative 1 minus 2u. That will help us to rewrite it as 1 plus u, bring the, take a negative out, bring the u times 1 plus 2u down. Negative x, bring the 2x squared down. integrating both sides this one negative one half comes out that will leave one over x dx the right hand side is a straightforward integration but the left hand side some work is needed as you can see how do we integrate the one on the left side we need to use partial fraction decomposition. So assume it's 1 plus x over x times 1 plus 2x. This is a over a, a over x, b over 1 plus 2x. If you multiply everything by x times 1 plus 2x, you go 1 plus x is a times 1 plus 2x, b times x. If you set x equals 0, 1 equals a if you set x equals negative 1 half you get 1 half equals negative 1 half b so b is negative 1 so this becomes a is 1 so it's 1 over u minus 1 over 1 plus 2x or 2u here du negative 1 half integral of 1 over x dx So now to integrate this one, it's easy to do so. It's natural log of uh, absolute value of u. But to integrate the other one, this one, you can take the denominator to be, let's say, v. So t, 2 du is dv. Or so dv, you need, you need a 2 here and a 1 half out there. So it's a one half on the top is dv over v. So natural log of opposite value of u minus there's a one half natural log of one plus two u equals negative one half natural log of opposite value of x plus c. Now, we can look at more examples. We can look at more examples and before we do this note 
you know, we don't expect you to know this. Uh, dx over the square root of 1 plus x square uh, is natural log of absolute value of x plus x squared plus 1 plus c. So on a test, that would be like a given thing for you. And let's say we are asked to solve a differential equation x, y, dx minus x squared dy equals y, the square root of x squared plus y squared dy, subject to the initial condition y of 0 equals 1. So this is not easy to separate, no matter how you try to separate it, it's not going to work out. So what, I'm, what are we going to do is, of course you can bring the dy terms to one side and dx terms to the other side. And you can, you can test them to see if it's homogeneous with the same degree, both m of x and n of x. And then what I'm going to do here is to show you if we try to use x equals instead of y equals vy, what are we going to get? Try to differentiate both sides, please. If you tried. Uh, differentiating this with respect to x, you can say dx dx is equal to um, dv dx y by the product rule plus v dy dx, which can be rewritten as 1 equals or multiply by dx, so dv y dv plus v dy. So back to the given equation, I replace x with vy, so vy another y, and dx with v dy plus y dv. x is vy square dy, y stays the same, x is v square y square plus y square dy. So here we get vy square, v dy plus y dv, v square y square dy. You can factor y square here and take it outside as a y, that will make it y square out, v square plus 1 dy. The y squares cancel. Multiply the v, v squared dy, vy dv, v squared dy, the square root of v squared plus 1 dy. These cancel. Any questions about this so far? Anyone solved it up to this point?
Now we can move on. We have vy dv equals v squared plus 1 dy. We can do separable v dv and bring that one down dy over y. Now we can do u sub u sub u equals v squared plus 1 du is 2 v dv. So you need a 2 here and 1 half out. That gives us 1 half du over the square root of u dy over y. This comes outside up as due to the negative one half. Add one divided by the same number. These cancel out. Square root of u is natural log of the opposite value of y plus c. But they give us Remember, u here is the same as v squared plus 1. And what is v here? Remember, the problem starts with x and y, so you must end up with x and y. So what we can do, we said, so, uh, remember, x equals vy, so v is x over y. Here we can replace v with x over y square plus 1 equals natural log of absolute value of y plus c. And remember they give us an initial condition. The initial condition was y of 0 is 1. means when x is 0, y is 1. When x is 0, y is 1. That gives us 1 equals natural log of 1 is 0. Then you substitute the c back in. That gives us x squared over y squared plus 1 equals natural log of absolute value of c plus 1. We can leave it like that. Any questions about this? As you noticed, uh, integration and differentiation are very important for the entire course, not just the uh, not just for this section. Almost every section we're going to work with, we're going to do integration, differentiation, all the time. Any questions about this section?